Next up, I'm going to be converting my old horse barn into a more usable space. Now, years ago when we had horses, I spent a lot of time designing this. I got it just the way I wanted it, and I think it looks great. But it's just not usable. With the horses gone, it's just collecting junk. Uh, it's not closed in, and uh, it's just not great. So I'm going to bite the bullet, uh, tear down some of this stuff. We'll pour some concrete in the horse stalls and then put the sheet metal all the way around, close it in, and it'll be, I think, a really nice shop. So basically, it's a pole barn. We used six by six posts, <laughs> cemented them in at the bottoms. They're in there in good ways. And we packed a lot of fill dirt in there. I think it was four trucks. Well, your next driver is going to have the hardest time. Uh, no, the girl's coming back. Okay, well. Yeah, she'll have the hardest time. I told him when he comes back, he'll be able to pull straight out and then back over and dump, you know? Yeah. Load over there. Yeah. Now you see at the top, that's a 2 by 12 header. Uh, two of them sandwiched together. We notched the tops of all the 6 by 6 posts. And then we went out and had uh, a rafter company build the rafters. Here they are being delivered. Basically, you got the 6x6 post, 2x12 header, double stacked all the way around the top, and then rafters across the top. Put the purlings on, and then you can attach the metal roofing to that. It just gets screwed down. Here we're getting ready to pour concrete. I think it took about 15 yards, somewhere in that vicinity.
We added a lot of extra six by six posts across the back on both sides of every door. Now here you can see where it's getting framed out with the two by six stud wall with uh, plywood sheeted on the inside. Uh, really strong. You don't have to do all this, but with the horses in there and stuff, we wanted to make it extra strong. So I, this is some of the drawings I did for the front. And there it is when it was all done. And that's when it was uh, a horse barn. And uh, it looks like more like a junk pit today. It's just collected all kinds of junk. Okay, so basically we're just gonna close in the other half of the barn. Two by six framing all the way around and then sheet it with metal. And there'll be a big door right in the opening here, right in the middle. So my next phase is to figure out how do I want to organize this. So I start off by uh, measuring some stuff. I measure off all the stuff that might end up in the barn. Okay, so after I measure it, I draw it to scale on this paper here, and then I can just cut them out like so. So now this is to scale in a scale drawing of the barn. So you just kind of move it around and see, you know, where would it fit. Like that. We do that for everything I'm going to put in the barn. And that's how we can get a good organization. Okay, so after moving stuff around and trying different designs, I kind of settled in on this design. We have a big double door. And we have a big shelf over here, a couple of workbenches. This is the wood shop side. Um, and here I'm going to put the tiller, mower, cedar, like stuff like that. And I'm adding on a gas station on the outside here. But let's take a little closer look at this. So if we start with this wall here, oh, and I got a little sketch of this. So this is a 23 foot long, 10 foot high shelf. It's gonna be made in eight foot sections. Well, eight, eight, and seven. And over on this side, we've got the stakes for the garden and just basically all the garden stuff. Um, on the left, I'm gonna put the, all my tractor stuff along with a couple of the implements, the grapple and the tiller that I wanna keep inside out of the weather. I'm gonna go ahead and build a couple of roll dollies for those and slide them right under the shelf. The shelf will be two feet deep. And so we'll see this will develop as we go. This is just getting a starting point. Next, let's look around this uh, front wall. Take a closer look at that. And we have is a workbench on the left and a workbench on the right. The one on the right will be made more heavy duty, two by tens. Uh, this will be for, you know, putting heavy duty b uh, banging on stuff with a hammer. I got a vise over here, grinder. Might put a uh, welder or something on the side, more of a metal, dirtier side. On the left will be cleaner. The top will be finished plywood. I'll have a miter station. Probably some dust collection system in here and a uh, sanding station over here along with uh, all my stuff. I'm thinking of doing like a French cleat system up on the wall and try and make it look nice. And then rolling around to this side, that's the other side of the wood shop. And I'll have a bandsaw and a drill press. And I'll probably put my dust collector in this corner if it'll fit. Otherwise, I'll have to put it on the other side of the wall. And then we'll run that dust collection all the way around. So basically, it's the big shelf. The two workbenches, wood shop over in here with, you know, bandsaw, drill press, dust collection. I'll put a big toolbox over here, be handy. So walking in the door or going this way, get to the tools. Table saw in the middle that we can move out of the way if we need to. Uh, might add some more stuff later, like a joiner and a planer, but not currently. 
uh, lumber, well, you can roll, you know, eight foot, uh, two by fours, two by sixes, you can push them right in this end and pull them right out. And then plywood stacked this way so you can select what you want and pull that right out. Yard tools in the back, stuff for the garden. And then this room will have, like I said, the tiller, mower, all that kind of stuff lined up over here. And since my, actually my range is right out this door, so I could do a gun safe, some ammo or something in here with a bench, make this kind of nice for that. And then outside, I'm doing this gas station where this is going to be really heavy duty. This I'm probably going to put 200 gallons of diesel, two tanks, so this will be built really strong. And then all the five gallon tanks along with the propane will all be in this uh, closed in addition that I'm planning on doing. So we're looking at a really big project here and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I plan on putting a lot of effort into this and hopefully filming all the steps. So I hope you'll stick with me, come along for the ride. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.